Hey everyone, really excited. Tomorrow I'm leaving on a Colorado first rifle elk hunt. We're gonna talk about all the gear that I'll be using, so let's get into it. Okay, getting started. So this is what I will be wearing on the mountain tomorrow. Temps are gonna be in the 30s to 50s, high and low there. First, I wanna start off with the backpack. This is a Seek Outside Brooks backpack on a Revolution frame. This is a very old backpack by Seek Outside, but it has the same Revolution frame as their current backpacks, just a few small changes. I've tried Stone Glacier, Mystery Ranch, I prefer the Revolution frame. What I really like about this backpack is it has X-Pack material, so it is waterproof besides the seams, and it also is about five pounds on the weight. And last year I'd carried a rear and front quarter. It held the weight very, very well, and so very happy with this frame. For some reason, it's just the most comfortable that I've used. It has a huge front pocket, so it's basically a large dry bag. So what I will be wearing in, starting off with the Scree 145 Merino top. That is a Merino wool base layer. I like Merino wool. I know some guys don't, but that is what I prefer. I will be using the Sika Timberline pant. This is a great pant for when it's a little colder. I also like the De Havilland pants by Stone Glacier if you want something with a side zip. For jacket, I will be wearing the I'll be wearing the Sitka Jetstream. A little heavy, but I like this jacket. Where we're at, there's a lot of, of brush. We are busting through it quite often to get into the elk. And it's a great wind jacket. Tons of good pockets. So I have I carry so much stuff in these pockets. I've got a net gator in here. I'll have uh, probably my shooting V, probably the Kestrel as well. So love the, the jet stream there. I'll be using the Kinetrek Gators, so great Gators, pretty straightforward. Liner socks with darn tough socks. And then Blaze Orange is the Scree Gunner Vest with a basic orange beanie, basic orange hat, and earplugs as well on the neck. And then, and then I'll also have this Kuyu belt. So that's everything that I'm wearing. And I wanted to show you guys that first. So that is primarily the clothing. As you can see, this bag is huge. It is basically a dry bag, which is why I love it so much. And it, it can hold so much. So for me, love the Brooks, great backpack. For boots, I'll be using the Crispy Nevada insulated. I kind of wish I had non-insulated or un uninsulated, but these are great boots there. And then for the vinyl harness, I will be using marsupial medium with a, a right pocket and a rangefinder pouch. So on my right pocket, I'll have my headlamp and a bino stud. Maybe the Kestrel will see on the rangefinder. I'm using the Vortex Razor 4000 GB. So very impressed with this rangefinder. I actually was testing a little bit with the Revic and I preferred, I liked the way that this, this one worked. For binos, I was the guy that said I'll never use Swarovski, but I am using the SLC 10 by 42 HD. So that is my chest setup there. And then I, on my phone, I do use phone scope still. So there's a lot of new adapters. I actually really like phone scope uh, for, for digiscoping. It's very easy and I like I like the company, great warranty, always super helpful. Okay, along the lines of what I'll be taking in tomorrow, I have these aluminum trekking poles. They are uh, Fazan, I think they call them. They are crazy light, very good quality with the Wiser Precision Quick Stick. So you can use these to set up for a shot if you want to. Also, they help keep the poles together. My legs are a little sticky, so I've already extended these 
but great trekking poles, highly recommend trekking poles while you're hiking in especially. I will also be using these for the Seek Outside Sunlight Shelter, which is what we'll be using and have really enjoyed that shelter so far. I'll be using the Seekins PH2 with a 300 PRC, the Javelin Pro Hunt Bipod with the Trigicon 10 mile, three to 18 by 44 rifle scope. This has been one of the most impressive scopes I've ever used or tested. It's basically 25 ounces, three to 18, first focal plane, amazing glass, extremely durable, great tracking. This is a, a fantastic scope if you're okay with first focal plane. And then as you can see, I have my chart over here for my drops, but I'm gonna be doing a full video on the Seekins and the Trigicon itself, but this is the rifle that I will be carrying in. Okay, so everything else you're about to see is primarily what will be in my pack for the trip. Okay, so as far as sleeping and shelter goes, I'll be using the Seek Outside Sunlight 2P. This is a great shelter with a Thermarest, I think it's the Auberon uh, sleeping bag, zero degree down, uh, older bag. A lot of great bags out there nowadays. And the Exped pillow I'll be using with the Thermarest NeoAir X-Lite sleeping pad, and then these goofy looking space boots. These are Western Mountaineering down booties. And I probably don't need these on this trip, but they're light. They're actually not a bad camp shoe. So I will be taking those, but this is primarily what I'll be sleeping in. And then this is at, for camp at night. Also regarding warm down products, I have the Grumman down pant and jacket in here. I haven't fully compressed it yet. That is a great uh, down piece. For rain gear, I have the Kuyu. It's the Chugach, I think is how you say it. And that is the pant and jacket. And then the Kuyu Super Down Pro glassing mitts. And then the last pieces of clothing is another Scree Merino hoodie. It's a 300. And then the Kuyu Kenai. So typically when I'm hiking in, I'll have maybe the Kenai with the jet stream. And then when I get to where we're at, I'll put on the, the Stone Glacier Grumman set, at least the jacket, and then I'll have the rain gear always readily accessible in case we get some rain. So lastly, I kind of break it up into accessories. So that was kind of clothing, sleeping. For accessories, I have a Thermarest Z-Seat. I have a first aid kit as well. This is from North American Rescue. I have five days of food. I have it in a Sea to Summit dry bag. For my stove, I'll be using a jet boil in here with a small fuel canister and a, a mug. So this year I'm gonna be doing less freeze dried and more meals put together. I have a platypus big zip, primarily for clean water, this uh, dirty bag here for dirty water, and then a liter as well. This is a seek outside talon. This goes on the outside of my pack. And I have my water purification here with a Sawyer filter that I'll be using with the platypus. I have an extra headlamp as well. Uh, my shooting V for my tripod, which I'll probably have in my pocket. And then I have this, this bag with an extra headlamp, deodorant, toothbrush, some vitamins, fire starter, extra batteries, it's kind of a catch-all for, for extra safety on that. Okay, we're getting close. So this is my kill kit. I have the Black Ovis Ultralight Game Bags for an elk. These are the large or XL size. A couple zip ties, black trash bag, some extra cordage, and the Gerber knife. This is like the Randy Newberg. It's got three blades. We used this on a bull last year and it worked really well. All in a Seek Outside pouch. Also for tripod, I'm using the Vortex Ridge View without the center column and the Wiser Precision Pan Head. So that is a great option. I love the three legs. It's very durable, it's crazy light. The only downside is it's very tall. Okay, for spotting scope, this is the Miofta Miostar S2. I've got the phone scope adapter there. Well, I have part of these, the neoprene cover here, but just mainly the body with a stone glacier spotting scope sleeve. All right guys, so I think that was it. I know I went through that pretty quick. 
this has been uh, quite a few years of, of taking time to get this gear. So don't feel like you have to start with any of these brands. There's a lot of great outdoor brands. We'll be happy to answer any questions about that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.